Thank you. Well, Hollywood is facing a total shutdown. Actors going on strike. Let's go to Hollywood writer and producer Bill Wolkoff in LA. Bill, thanks so much for your time. Why is this strike so important to you? Well, we are fighting for a fair contract, and we're fighting to be uh, uh, to be able to share in the success of our work when our work is successful for the studios and companies. What's it going to do, uh, my friend, to, to everyone over here in Australia and around the world uh, who, who loves consuming content? What is it going to mean for content, say, in six months' time? We're, you're already going to see uh, a delay in content. We've been on strike now for 73 days, and the studios and companies don't have as many scripts banked up, so they're they're going to run out of out of out of programs, especially uh, for their uh, uh, prime time lineups and all of their uh, streaming shows that uh, people are expecting to see. With the with SAG AFTRA now walking out there, they they go on strike uh, tonight midnight in uh, Los Angeles time. Everything is going to come to a halt, wow. so all production will stop. Uh, on, on all uh, TV shows and, and, and movies. Uh, uh, and you're, you're not going to see actors giving interviews either or doing any promotion for their movies. Yeah, it's a big move. We've already seen it start, you know, with the Oppenheimer cast walking out of the London premiere. I mean, this is just the beginning. A lot more to come, you expect? Uh, well, we're, we're out here for, we've been out here for 71 days, uh, pardon me, 73 days, uh, and we are prepared to be out here for as long as it takes for the studios to come back to the table and bargain with us in good faith. And SAG-AFTRA has been uh, supporting us from day one. We've had, we've had members on our line with us, and now I'm excited uh, to be able to uh, support them as mm. they fight for a fair contract it's a real and they fight to be compensated. It, it's fairly. a real David and Goliath battle against studios. Uh, can you possibly win this? They need us. Uh, they can't... Uh, uh, the, the, the actors don't have anything to say without without us, and uh, now the studios don't have even have the actors to say anything from the stu from all the scripts that they had that were written before the strike. All right, Bill. Um, good luck. We'll uh, we'll talk so, to you very soon. Appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back. Well, Hollywood is officially on strike for the first time since 1960. 160,000 actors walking off sets, even red carpets. This means production will stop on almost all film and television shows around the world. Senior TV editor at Variety, Brian Steinberg, joins us now. Brian, thanks so much for your time. Big day, huh? What happens now? It's a great question. Both sides seem very far apart, but it will really, with there's already a writer's strike going on, this new development is going to essentially shut down Hollywood for the foreseeable future. How long do you expect the strike to last? We've already seen Emily Blunt and others walk off red carpets at premieres. Do you think this will go on for much longer? I think it could be several weeks to several months. Both sides seem pretty dug in, and there's a lot of economic duress and pressure on both sides, on both the studios and media companies and the actors and the writers. I think there's um, a disconnect between what they're going through and also moviegoers and people who are just fans. Mm. Um, what happens, though, with things like Barbie and Oppenheimer opening this, this weekend and next? Will people well, those not movies, go Those will all still open. Those movies are still... Anything that's in the can, written, produced, are all ready to go. So there is, like, a bit of a cushion for the studios because they have product ready to go for the rest of the summer. Mm. When you get into the fall and the winter, I think we're going to have some problems and things that have work. Those will be finished by a certain time, can't be finished, production has to cease scripting is done, then, and you're, I think we're okay for now as a cushion, but I think as time goes on, it will get a little more pressure. But don't you bite the hand that feeds you a little? Yes, you're, you're telling the, the consumer, the, the moviegoer and the TV watcher, that, uh, you know, go find something else to watch. On, that might be on stream some back catalog show you haven't watched before. Mm. You're teaching them not to be ready for new, new, new content. It's going to be a problem the longer it goes on. Do oh, mm. you think it's, uh, it can be resolved? Yes, I think, look, everyone's concerned about money. Both sides need to come together and figure out a new way to uh, everyone get compensated in a way they feel is good and, and fair. But it is not easy to do, and both sides at present, I think, are not ready to, to negotiate. But uh, as, as time goes by and the economics get more severe, that may force more negotiation. What, what's Variety going to write about? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a, sports is still going on, news is still going on, and I think unscripted shows, game shows, that sort of thing, Definitely. that stuff's still going to be coming out there. But, yeah, the, the, the glitzy stuff is going to start becoming more precious right away. Mm. Great to talk to you, mate. Thank you so much. Shifting focus a bit. Thank Thanks, you. Brian.
Breaking at 7am, the bright lights of Hollywood are going dark as actors strike. The union voting unanimously to take action, failing to reach an agreement with studios over streaming deals, pay and the rise of artificial intelligence. That announcement coming from a familiar face, Fran Drescher, who you'll recognise from The Nanny, furious in a media conference just hours ago. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines and big business. Who cares more about Wall Street than you and your family? Most of Americans don't have more than $500 in, a, in an emergency. This is a very big deal and it weighed heavy on us. But at some point, you have to say no. And that strike order has taken immediate effect. In the UK, stars of Oppenheimer, Matt Damon, Emily Blunt and Cillian Murphy walking out of the film's premiere to join the picket. All this coinciding with the ongoing writer's strike in Hollywood, marking the first time in 60 years both guilds have walked off the job together. Let's go live now to US correspondent Lauren Tomasi, who is outside Paramount Studios in Hollywood. Lauren, film and television projects around the world will be shutting down. Sarah, this is an enormous move by the Actors' Union with 160,000 actors from television and film walking off the job from midnight tonight. They'll be picketing at sites like this, Paramount Pictures, those big production houses, also Netflix, Amazon, Disney, after these negotiations broke down. Today, it was a unanimous vote by the board to take this strike action and one that certainly wasn't taken lightly because the Writers Guild are already on strike. That dual strike now, meaning the production right across the board here in Hollywood, here around the world, is now being shut down with no production on scripted TVs and film to go ahead. Some really big names getting behind this as well. Already we've heard from Matt Damon who says he hopes that uh, they can reach an agreement. Of course the actors here are trying to get uh, more pay. They are fighting for that negotiation. These contracts are renewed every three years but for these two uh, guilds to be on strike at the same time it is sending a huge message to these big production houses. For you at home, it means that upcoming movies will be put to a halt. There are TV shows that won't be coming out because they simply can't be made. A huge move by Hollywood, and we'll see those film uh, stars out on the picket lines from midnight tonight. Sarah. Lauren, thank you. Welcome back to today. Let's give you some breaking entertainment news this morning. And the cast of Oppenheimer has walked out of the London premiere due to the Hollywood strike. Reports say that director Christopher Nolan informed the audience that the movie stars had left the premiere. Earlier, Emily Blunt foreshadowed this decision, saying this is an interview on the red carpet, saying this in an interview. Well, who knows? I mean, I think right now we're just sort of... I hope everyone makes a fair deal and we're here to just celebrate this movie and if they call it, we'll be leaving together as a cast in unity with everyone. And well, you'll, you'll be upping sticks. We're going to have to. And leave. We're going to have to, so we'll see what happens. We will continue to update you on that situation. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.